Hey, Magic fans. What do you think you're doing? What's up? It's Captain Clyde here on Captain Clyde's MPG. We had a hell of an announcement yesterday. Magic Spotlight Series is to be bring back large open tournaments. Did you like the GPs? I know I did. It's time to fire them back up. With the first one being in Atlanta. Now it's in January. Calm down. But hey, might as well start packing. So, what's in this new format slash convention slash GP slash spotlight slash give us your money thing that Wizards is doing today? So don't forget, comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. <clears throat> we are sponsor free currently, but. Keep subscribing, and we'll try to stay that way. The little button's over here somewhere. God, I'm bad at this. Anyway, links in the description. You can buy all the cards you see in the box opening videos and some other things. Videos, news, giveaways, and all that good stuff. We get to 2,000 subscribers. We're going to give away some more stuff because <laughs> I got too much shit, and my wife's going to kill me. Anyway, so Wizards announced the uh, Magic Tournament series spanning eight cities. It's currently called the Spotlight Series. I guess they didn't want to say GP again, but whatever. I'm down with that. Call it what you want. Tomato, tomato, you know. <clears throat> so it's going to be around eight cities. It's all going to be in 2025. As of right now, they do plan to do more. Um, but each tournament is going to accumulate about a 50K main event, which is not as much as a GP was, I think, toward the end. But let's be honest, it's it's probably close enough. I'm just glad they're doing something. Let's let's be real. So William Jensen and uh from is the director of play programs along with Blake Rasmussen. They talked Rasmussen. Uh they talked about a lot of this stuff. Uh I'm gonna give it to you in a nutshell. So eight cities across the globe. Uh big prize money. So there's gonna be five in the US, two in Europe, one in Japan. That's gonna be all eight. So we only get five. Uh, all five in the U.S. are going to be hosted by Star City Games. Gee, you didn't see that coming. Um, I mean, at least it's not... <laughs> anyway. Two in Europe by Fanfinity and one in Japan by Big Magic. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, they used to be a different company, but I forgot what they were called. Anyway. So the marquee of the event will be a open invitation for the whole weekend. There's going to be side events, special guests, vendors, and more. Gee, sounds like a GP. But anyway, Magic Con, call it what you will. Um, eight events, they're going to live stream, which is great. We get live stream Magic back. I know we've all missed it to some degree. Um, I mean, I'm talking about live cards. I don't mean that arena shit that they've been trying to sell us on. Anyway. Um, so yeah, so in the main events, what we're going to have here, it's a two-day open, just like a normal GP would be. Day one, starting on a Saturday, and then... Uh, players who earn 18 match points over nine rounds of Swiss advance to day two on Sunday, which includes six more rounds of Swiss and a cut to a single elimination top eight bracket. Now, the cool thing about this, all top eight players will earn pro turn invites. So there's no need to worry about how many people are in the tournament. Do I got to make top four, top two? Do I got to win the whole thing? Just make it to top eight. Like that's easy. But hey, you know, Better than it was. Uh, with that said, there's prize money and promo cards. Winners walked away with a Magic Spotlight Championship trophy. In addition to some special prizes, all the players need to enter the series event uh, is the normal Magic app. Don't forget that. Uh, they don't talk about it here, but you will need it. Um, also, if you enter the event, everybody gets a non-foil promo of that event theme. So every event's going to have a theme, kind of like how the GPs did for a while. They did mention some events may have the same theme, um, so it won't be something different every time. And I'm okay with that. I mean, you know, I, I remember going to several GPs in a row. Like, I, I literally went to four GPs because the promo card was so cool. I wanted a four of. And yes, I could have bought it, but that's too easy. I like to play magic. I wanted to go and it's excuse. It's, uh, anyway, moving on. I don't hope my wife don't hear this. Anyway, players that do finish in the 128 of the top, the top 
128. God, I butchered that. Those finishing in top 128 will get a traditional foil version of the promo card, even sweeter. Uh, it's going to make them worth a lot more because there will be less of them. And in old GPs, every card was foil. Not that that was a bad thing, but this will give a little more value to the card. I like it. It makes it a little harder to collect, a little harder to get, and a little cooler to actually do well and not just top eight. Anyway, so the theme of the very first one, which is going to be in Atlanta, is Foundations, January 3rd through the 5th in 2025. Atlanta, Georgia. And as you can see here, this is the art. It's Terror of the Peach from Richard Kane Ferguson. And I got to admit, not my jam, but I can appreciate how cool it is. Uh, I, I would like, I, I like my dragons a little different. But this is still sweet art, and I would definitely be rocking it. So, especially since, see how he signs this? This man's got style. Anyway, at least I hope it's a guy. It says Richard. Anyway, uh, so it's going to kick off as and be part of an SCG Con Atlanta. So, let's address that. Uh, a thing came up, a question was asked, will I have to pay to get into the con and pay for the event? Uh, Wizards is really going to be hands off with this. Whoever runs the event is going to basically have governance on how they do it. If they want to charge entry fee and charge for the event, they can do that. So it may be different where you go. I mean, all the Star City ones are probably going to be the same. And depending on attendance and how much they make and yada yada, it may change throughout the course of these five tournaments or next year, 2026 20, next year. Anyway. So, um, the main event there will feature standard construction, take place on January 4th through the 5th. Uh, special promo card for the main event, Borderless Alternate Terror Peaks, yada, yada, yada. Um, Pro Tour 2025 is what the invites are for. And if you do get first place, uh, the prize for Foundations Weekend is a standard for a year. This is cool as hell. The winner will receive a play booster display case, which is a box, a box of six boxes, a box of the box of the box, of every standard legal, legal magic release in 2025. If there's four standard releases at roughly seven to eight hundred dollars, that's that's almost five grand. That's pretty sweet. Not to mention you don't have to pay taxes, which would make it higher, or shipping. So yeah. Um. The cash prizes will also pay down to 64th place in the standard event. Also really sweet, we can actually get cash prizes again. Kind of makes me happy on the inside. Uh, so the second one will be March 15th through the 16th. It will be a modern spotlight. Uh, unfortunately, it will be in the Netherlands. Unless you're in the Netherlands. And I've never been in the Netherlands or someone in my Netherlands, nether region. Anyway, uh, there, the uh, special card is going to be Caldera Complete with the artist Mons Monstri. I, I probably butchered that, and I'm sorry. Um, this art, not bad. Pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I like the detail, like how it's done. I think my only real problem with this is I was never really a fan of Caldera Complete. So, it doesn't do a lot for me. But the style of art... I am definitely down with, and I can see some promise here. So there's that. So that's going to be there. Now, those are the only two they've announced so far. No more have been announced, but we do know there's going to be eight total. Five U.S., two Europe, one Japan. Um, they're going to announce those probably later in the week or down the road or whatever. Uh, let's see. We addressed the promos. We addressed getting into the con. Uh, who's going to run them? Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, uh, will there be a limit to how many people can enter the tournament? Again, Wizards is pretty much just kind of selling, if you will, the event format of, you know, pro tour slots, payment schedule, yada, 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 things like that. How much is paid? Any extra prizes? Um, is there a cap on players? How do you get in? Do you pay to, for the event and pay to get in like it's a con? All up to those running it. 
One cool feature, though. There are no buys. No way, no how. At least right now is what they're saying. So there's no more, oh, I got two or three buys because I got three buys because I'm a pro player and I ain't got to show up till noon and I only got to win six matches. Ugh. Or I'm going to play an early event, get two buys and have an advantage. Ugh. Nope, nope, nope. It's going to be Iron Man for everyone all nine rounds. No freebies. No handouts, no buys. And I like that. Until I have to play in it, then I'm a bitch, but that's okay. Everybody else will too. So, there you have it, guys. The new series is out. Um, I really wanted to go the first one in Atlanta, Georgia, because it's really not that far from me. But January 3rd is really asking a lot. It's right after the holiday. Um, but with that said, I'm going to have to check because if this is the weekend... Yeah, I might only have to take a couple of vacation days. I may be able to go to this. It's only like a four or five hour drive. Six, seven, whatever. Take your pick. Um, but yeah, I guess more to come on that if you guys even care if I'm there. But all that said, guys, it looks promising, looks cool. And let's hope this is a resurgence to a good play community. Some fun events and some great coverage. As always, till next time, be kind. And... I hope to see you cross from the game table. Maybe at one of these events. Hell, maybe we'll do a Gen Con booth or table or room next year. That sounds fun. <laughs>